Welcome to East Coast LQ Reviews. Today I got another Lagunitas beer. This is, uh, I believe this is a limited edition one. It says uh, 2017 One Hitter Series. This is uh, Dave Murray's Best Scotch Ale. Um, alcohol by volume, 9.5%. Uh, Lagunitas Brewing Company. Um, and I actually pulled up the Beer Advocate. So Beer Advocate score on this was 84 for uh, good. The bros haven't reviewed it yet. Um, so some beer info. Brewed by uh, Lagunitas Brewing Company out of California, United States. Um, if you want to check them out a little bit more, you can go to Lagunitas.com. Um, style of this beer is a Scotch Ale or Wee Heavy. Um, I actually just got to grab my bottle opener real fast. One sec, sorry. Again. And we're back. I just had my uh, bottle opener in my cooler. So let me just finish reading off what this says. Uh, so style Scotch Ale, Wee Heavy. Alcohol by volume 9.5%, availability limited brewed once, and there are no notes or commercial description. So I got a clear glass here, I'm gonna pour this into. I'm gonna crack it open. Check this beer out, it's my first time trying this beer. 9.5%, so it should be kind of a heavy, heavier beer. Can already tell the color is kind of like a reddish brown color. Uh, looks pretty good, pretty producing a nice kind of like uh, tanned head. Doesn't seem like it's going away too fast. Uh, I'm gonna wait for that head to go down. But uh, yeah, it actually smells pretty good. I can smell it over here. Um, like I said, the head, pretty nice tan head. Uh, not going away too fast, so you can see it's kind of like a reddish color. Right off the bat, I get kind of like bready malt, a little bit of like caramel, kind of like from that caramel porter, the Saranac one. Nice caramel sweetness to it. It smells actually really sweet. Some bready malt. This smells pretty damn good. I'm uh, I'm gonna see what Beer Advocate says. One guy says smell, he says toffee, uh, caramel, tasted crust. Um, so you do kind of get like a crusty flavor. It smells pretty good though. Um, and he also says broken pine needles and smoke. So you do kind of get like a little bit of a hop smell to this. Not too strong at all, at all though, excuse me. I don't know what's bouncing around in these trees. But uh, as you can tell, this head's kind of taking a little bit. So let's go with this. Finish is a little hoppy. Not too bitter though. Um, I wonder what the IBUs on this. I don't know what the ball says, but does it? No, I don't, I don't see any IBUs on this. But yeah, you definitely get a nice hop, hop flavor to it. Kind of like a caramel sweetness. Yet like a bready malt kind of flavor to it. Mouthfeel on this is definitely heavy. Definitely a filling beer. Um, but it's pretty damn good. Um, let me see what uh, Beer Advocate says. Taste. Um, this guy says big toffee sweetness. So I'm getting kind of like a nice toffee caramel kind of sweetness to it. Toasted crust. So kind of those bready malts that I'm talking about kind of has like a nice toasted kind of bready flavor to it. Kiss of smoke. Um, I don't really get much of that. It says somewhat jammy. This is pretty good. Um, I remember I had a peanut butter and jelly beer and that this kind of tastes like it. Um, it says uh, somewhat jammy with lots of red fruits. So I definitely get some fruits in there. So, uh, yeah, overall, this is pretty damn good beer. Um, this guy says mouthfeel, huge body, full, thick, chewy uh, coating, ample carbonation. Um, so, yeah, the carbonation is about medium on this to me. Um, but, uh, yeah, for rating on this, um, I think I'm going to give it a 9. 
with that being said it's because it's definitely a great beer it's got tons of flavor and uh, at that nine and a half percent ABV you'll drink two of these and that's equivalent to over three beers so I mean these will definitely get you a nice good buzz going on fast um, it is a little bit more of a heavier beer so you probably would want to drink only like one or two of these and then maybe drink some lighter beers but uh, yeah it's definitely recommended I'm not sure on the price on this um, I believe it's around probably 11 to 12 um, I think this does come in a six pack fucking bug attack on my drink but uh, yeah I think a six pack of this is around like 12 or maybe even 13 because I know the higher ABV Lagunitas are a little bit more pricier Um, to me, this sort of tastes like uh, Founders Dirty Bastard. Uh, I'm sure it's pretty similar. And uh, also, I just want to say that I believe this is unfiltered. It's definitely got a lot of chunkies floating around in there. I don't know if my camera can pick it up, but I can definitely tell. Yeah, there you go. So you can see, totally see that there's a lot of chunkies in here. And uh, yeah, overall, it's a pretty good beer. Definitely recommended. Like I said, my rating, going to give it a 9 out of 10. And uh, yeah, if there's any other liquor or beers you'd like to see on my channel, leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for my upcoming videos on liquor and beer. Thanks for watching. Cheers.